Hi everyone, Dean Mattis here. This is a Tempest drum kit made in Canada. I bought it in 2007 while I actually custom ordered the entire kit. Uh, it comprises of, it's a 10 by 7, 12 by 8, 14 by 12, 16 by 14 and 22 by 14 kick drum. Um, it's got a kind of warm, bright, kind of a, a tacky sound to it. Um, it's quite a strong, loud kit, um, kind of the opposite of a, a vintage drum kit in a way, but it's got a warmer, loud sound, if, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't, but um, I'll give you a bit of a backstory on this kit. When I ordered this kit in 2007, it was all over the internet, um, and I actually the first Tempest drum I had was a, a 14 by four and a half or 14 by five snare drum, a carbon fiber snare drum. This kit's carbon fiber. Um, and I ordered that because I went to the Hollywood drum show, I think in 2006. And at that show, I met Paul Mason, the maker of these drums, and he custom builds the, the carbon fiber kits for the customers from scratch and to whatever specs you want. And at that time, he would build uh, whatever drum kit you wanted, whatever sizes in either fiberglass or carbon fiber um, with whatever hardware you wanted on it as well. So if you wanted specific lugs or hoops or whatever you want, uh, whatever mounts you wanted, uh, he would build it to what, whatever you wanted. And so I thought when I tried out the fiberglass, um, I don't think there was a carbon fiber kit at that show at that time. I, when I spoke to him about it, it was, um, when he told me about carbon fiber, it was a little bit of a warmer sound than the fiberglass, but I really loved the projection of the fiberglass. And these are 100% fiberglass or 100% carbon fiber. And he did some other things as well at that time. Um, but I think it might have been six months later I ordered this drum kit and I liked the look of the old Slingerland kits at the time and uh, I wanted the, the beaver tail lugs, which was a real Slingerland thing, and the, the rounded in hoops, the stick saver hoops. So I placed my order, um, got all these sizes, I ended up not even using the 10 inch Tom. Um, it was kind of that crossover point in 2000, the mid 2000s where it was a little bit, I don't know, the 10s were going out of fashion a little bit. So I was, I just really used a, a, basically a four piece kit of the, the 12, either 12, 14 or 12 and 16 Toms. And I, I don't think I've ever done a, a gig with the 10 inch Tom. So the 10 inch Tom's brand new. Um, the mounting hardware, it came with rims mounts and I didn't really like them at the time. Um, I probably would do, I would put it back to that now, but the, I went to drum craft mounts for a while and they just hung onto two lugs and, uh, and just kind of sat on the shell. And then I got these pearl mounts, which were very similar, but just a bit cl cleaner looking and and uh, Pearl hardware was pretty reliable. And so I, I changed it over to that. And I've just left it at that. And when I got my, my new drum kit, which is a Sakai drum kit, um, I didn't even use the toms that I put the mounts on. The mounts are brand new. And, uh, and so I um, just left it as it is, and it's been sitting in cases. So it's time to sell it. And uh, so I, I know when I ordered this kit, just a bit of a backstory, a bit of a story to go along with this. Um, I I wanted the shells to be so from the the sparkle down to a black fade, and the and Paul made that for me, and when he sent me photos, he didn't fade every single drum. I think when it came to the shallow drums like the, the 10 
and um, and I got a snare as well, but that's not included. Um, he didn't fade the ten, but then he faded the twelve and the fourteen and the sixteen and the bass drum, and it didn't match. And I wanted it all faded. Um, so me being fussy, I said, "Just don't worry about it." He he was going. He just made me a new kit, and this is the new kit. Um, so he made it all just a uh, sparkle, no fade. Um, and I just wanted to do that to keep it simple and um, and just to keep it keep it all matching. Um, so that kit that was made is actually uh, there's there's a, a clip there's a few clips on YouTube uh, by a guy called Richie DiCarlo, and he bought that original kit and it's got the fade. He actually turned the 10 inch into a, a snare drum, a little tiny 10 inch snare drum. I think he put snare wires on the bottom of it. And uh, what, what else happened? Um, yeah, so anyway, it's um, I'm using my Sakai kit. I love that. This is a great kit. I love this kit too. It's a totally different beast. This is 100% carbon fiber shell and the, the red sparkle is the shell. So the sparkles sprayed into the finish. Now, when that happens, when people make drums like that, it's all handmade. It's not going to be 100% the same with every single drum. It's custom made. It is, um, you get those variances. So the, each drum is not exact. You know, they're all pretty close, but when you get a custom made, and you know, this is not a wrap finish. This is, um, this is hand sprayed, hand molded, that kind of thing. You're going to get variances. So they all are slightly different and, um, but you know, they're all within the ballpark. You can see the photos and it, it, it's, you know, it's an amazing drum kit. It's probably, it's loud, powerful, toneful. Um, whoever gets it's going to get pretty much a one-off, except for that other drum kit that Richie had. I think he sold it now. Um, that was the most similar one. Um, this is a one-off because of the beaver tail lugs and the Slingerland hoops. He stopped building custom orders almost six months after, maybe even less, maybe straight after this was built. He went back to his, his standard coffin lugs and they were all the same after that. Tempest no longer exists, um, so you will not get another one made and it, this makes this one pretty rare. So it's one of the last custom ones. It's a decent size kit, the 10, 12, 14, 16, 22. Um, yeah, you, you're going to be pretty happy with it if, if you're the one that gets it. So anyway. I just thought I'd give you some backstory on what this is, how it came about. Um, There's definitely not another one in Australia. I'd consider shipping it, so let's talk. You know, contact me if you're interested. And um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon.